Hi, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to create this nice gradient effect using the new mesh gradient in Swift UI by defining the size of the gradient mesh, control points of the mesh, and also specifying your own color and a color space. In another video, I showed you how to use the color mix modifier to generate color tints, shades, and color palettes like the one you see over here. In today's video, we are going to mix the two, Mesh Gradient and the new color mix in Swift UI. You have already seen I have added a Mesh Gradient here with empty colors array. So what we are going to do in this project is to specify some colors here and use the color mix modifier to mix three different colors. First, let's define some colors here by using a color literal. For the first one, let's say we want bent sienna. I'm not going to use this auto completion because we want a color literal. So let's put a hash sign. You cannot see Xcode is giving us auto completion. So let's press tab to complete it. Let's add more colors by copying this one and pasting it here. So we change this to bent amber. And the last one is aquamarine. I already have all the color values in my clipboard. So I'm going to paste them here. So we are going to mix these colors with other colors as well. So let's go to the colors array. For the mesh gradient, we have a 3 by 3 grid. So we have this point to be the top left, the second point to be the top center, and the third point to be the top right, and the rest. So over here, I'm going to add the colors. So let's put, for example, dot black, or let's pick any color here. You can now see the top left is having a blue color. Let's change it to red and mix it with other colors. To mix the red color with another color, we need to use the mix modifier. So we have two options, the one with parameter with and by, and also the one with the parameter with by and in, which represents the color we want to use for the mixing. Then we have the color amount represented with by. The in parameter is the color space. So let's select the first one. Let's mix it with aquamarine. Then we specify the amount Let's choose for example 0.5. If we specify the amount as 0.5, it means we have the red color to be 50% and the aquamarine color to be 50% as well. So let's change this to for example 0.2. Now we have 20% of aquamarine and 80% of red. We can also change it to for example 0.8. In this case, we have 80% of aquamarine and 0.2% of red. For the color at the top center, let's use bent amber. Then we want to mix it with aquamarine with this amount. It looks all green, so let's change this to for example 0.2. Next, we are at this point, that is the top right. Let's paste this code snippet. So here we have indigo to be 30% and bent sienna to be 70%. We can repeat the same steps for the other colors. Let's move on to the center left. So I'm going to paste this code. Finally, I'll add the remaining ones, that is the center center, center right, bottom left, bottom center, and the bottom right. So over here, you can experiment with different color amounts, or change the colors we have defined for each point. So this is how you can mix color values inside a mesh gradient view, here inside SwiftUI. Thanks for watching this video.